Hi, you're watching a special edition of Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media. Happy National Tequila Day. If you're watching us, uh, you know, it's probably September, but we're, but I'm here in San Antonio and that young man there is... Jim Johnston in Youngstown, Ohio. And Jim and I are enjoying our National Tequila Day uh, because today we have a real special special tequila this you may have seen this on, on on tequila aficionado on sipping off the cuff this is molly nolly but this is the new iteration this is the new varietal the new expression if you followed us at all you know that 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 uh they have been nominated and won as brand of promise in packaging in the past year they have been nominated and won in uh, uh, medals from us on on uh, sipping off the cuff, but they started off. Jim looked at me, you know, off camera, and he goes, "Okay, so they started with a blanco, and then they and then they went to extra añejo." And I go, "Yeah." He goes, "Okay, that's weird." And it is. It's not, you know, it's uncommon, but it does happen. So this is brand new. Now here's here. Let me give you some uh, a rundown on on the what's gone on with 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 this brand they uh they had some production problems at the old distillery they have gone to a new distillery and come up with a new expression this is the añejo okay okay uh you'll notice that it it, it ke the shape keeps the character of the original bottle which which again is a is a is a winner it's it's just it's just a gorgeous bottle you know it's just beautiful and you know it's got the etching where it says Molly Nolly on the front, but this is the new. When they moved to new distillery, they decided to come up with an añejo. So uh, they're out of Pennsylvania. The brand owners is Dimitri A. I Binder or A Binder. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And company, um, they have acquired some some funding and uh, have improved the line. So we're going to try the añejo, which is. A new submission to us here at Sipping Off the Cuff. I'm going to use my my hybrid, uh, my Stossel, uh, 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 what do I call it, prototype. Then and I'm going to use my Glencairn glass. He's using the Glencairn. Um, I, you know, I don't, I didn't get any POS on this in on, on this particular tequila, so I'm not exactly sure how long they aged it. But I'm sure if I look for it, I, I'm able to find it now. Here's, here's the box. This is the new, the new packaging for the añejo. And I don't know if you can see this because I have a little bit of the sunlight coming in the window, but superimposed on the back is is Molly Nolly. Now, for those of you, there you go. You can see it. You can see it on Jim's side. And that's on the package. That's on the box. Molly Nolly. If you're not familiar with who she is, she is a historical figure and historical figure. Her story's in the back. She is the uh, was the interpreter to Hernán Cortés uh, during the uh, Spanish conquest. She was the interpreter, the concubine, the uh, consultant, and her offspring, their offspring, is considered the first mestizo. Uh, ah. So, so she is the mother of the this. Um, the, a whole new race of people. So it's a very interesting story. You you can read it on the back of this box. But I, what I'm looking to see, do you know, Jim? D does it have any information on on how long this has been aged and what we know? It does not. Um, nothing on the box to let us know that. Uh, it says here that, that we are constantly crafting an unparalleled drinking experience. Molly and Ollie tequilas are made at state-of-the-art, uh, at an at, at state-of-the-art distillery in El Salto, Jalisco. Uh, the crucial ingredient of tequila is agave. And that's all we're getting on this. I'll have to find out from, from uh, Dimitri and company how long this has been aged. I mean, we know legally between one and three years, right? Obviously, less than their extra NAO. So. Right. Yeah, the extra is is over three years, uh, and this really, technically, according to to the normas, that's all they got to tell you is they don't right. even have to tell you how old. 
It's just that you know if it's if it's if it's designated extra oh. it's three years and over. So right. Um, yeah, it's not telling us a whole lot, and I wish I had gotten that information sooner. Um, but you can find them Work. on Instagram. You can find them on Facebook. Um, and in fact, I'm going to see if I can, as we nose this tequila, we're going to find out what I what I can find out about it. Um, especially with the the extra añejo and, and the añejo, and see if I can't get some info. There we go. What are we getting so far on the on the nose? This is oh oh my gosh! What it's is that? Like, it's charcoal. Are that you smells sh- like that smells like. The, I'm the, getting the, I'm getting fruit, man. I'm getting like a dry like a real sweet dried fruit. The first thing I picked up off of this was almost like this was aged for years in a whiskey barrel. That was the first smell. Okay. Right after that. And now that it's opening up. Oh, it's so beautiful. It smells like got a little cinnamon. Almost like, and I, I don't want to say this because this conveys a bad, like Christmas fruit cake. You get a little bit of sweet fruit. You get a little bit of baking spice. You get a little bit of... So it's baking. dried fruit. We're getting some dried fruit is what we're getting, right? Oh, you should wow. smell it off of this thing. It's wow. it's like peaches. It's like dried peaches. Yeah. As this started to open up, I was going to say, this has got a little bit like a, like a dried apricot, dried peach. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, my God. Once you get past, the first smell off of this, to me, was like burnt wood. And, and, but it, it, that's how it hit me. But after this opens up a little bit, and you get that complexity coming through. Wow. Wow. Holy That's God. really incredible. Holy, holy cow, Batman. All right, so from their website, the Añejo, here's what we know. First of all, the gnome, the new gnome is 1551. For those of you who are looking to see what else is coming out of there, you got you, you have a full array of tequilas from Tanteo, which is an infused tequila, Soltado, which is one of our favorites, um, you're getting there. There are tequilas like Baron, which is a wonderful um, uh, tequila that is kosher. Um, you get uh, there are only like less than ten brands come out of this. El Berrinche, which people have seen before, uh, which I think you can, if I'm not mistaken, you can only find in Mexico. La Hora Berrinche, Azul. Is that what it's called? El Berrinche. Yeah, that, that's the name of the bar that I used to bartend at, the Mexican restaurant around oh, here. Oh, yeah? It's called Berinche. Oh, It's no weird kidding. to hear that name. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's another one that, that I've seen lately called La Hora Azul, Blue Hour, and you can find them on Instagram. They're very popular. So they make a handful of brands. Ba- what, what am I getting at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, they make 12 brands. So it's a fairly... It's a it's a what they would call small to medium size distillery, not a big maquiladora. So they moved, you know, they moved to a decent distillery. But uh, so that's what we know. Now according according to the website, Jim, this is entering double distilled, roller mills, stone brick ovens. Uh, from the Highlands, uh, the Midlands region of Jalisco. So I, I'm not sure what they consider Midlands. Uh, this is a uh, uh, stainless steel pot stills and no, just something American oak barrels for an average of 18 months I'd say that yeah. was about right yep yeah. but I, I I was immediately in this glass it was the fruit that I got holy holy moly mm. This is almost as good. To, this is like, can I put this at like on my pulse points? Just yeah, no, this, cologne? this has got that nice citrus uh, sort of. Mm, wow. Wow. Have you tasted it yet? No. Okay, I got I, I to gotta taste it. I got to taste it. By the way, just for, for, again, transparency, 
both Jim and I broke our seals on this. We, we hadn't tasted it before. I, I have had a previous iteration of this Añejo from last year, but this, this is an improvement from what I've been told. Oh, I, need, I need a cigar. Oh my God. This, 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 this does not express itself like a typical Anejo that, that, that I've tasted. Oh. The, the spice and the fruit and the depth is right up front. Yeah. And the agave comes, but it is not a, it is not an, okay, there's agave and then there's everything else that I taste. It's, this tastes like, like a nice dried fruit, bacon spice combination. Oh, and then there's agave. Wow. That is really, really, that kind of flavor is incredible to me. Yeah, it, I, you know, the nose and the flavor delivered, man. It was, the, the balance is there. The uh, nose can, is fine either. You get the same flavor that you get. Uh, yeah. It, a little bit on your tongue, that sense when you're smelling it comes through in the taste but but to taste this and it's got a nice medium to long finish you feel that yeah. that warm fuzzy all the way down oh my oh, yeah. god about right right here yeah right here. yeah 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 oh oh my my god this is sinful yeah this is sinful man yeah this this really is don't touch this i wouldn't put an ice cube in this no, i would no I might put a drop of water like scotch to open this up because the complexity of that fruit and spice flavor is enough. And it's sweet spice. It's not It's not like toasty spice. It's sweet spice. Yeah, yeah. Drop of water maybe to open it up a little bit more just to get a, an even better feel for that flavor and get yourself a nice Robusto cigar. Yeah, baby. This is not, see, this would hold up to a nice Robusto. Yeah, you're not going to overpower this. No. As a matter of fact, if you were to use a, a medium to light cigar on this, this would this would completely overshadow it. You don't want to do that with this one. You want to you want to complement the cigar with the, with this. Uh, there are extra añejos uh, that don't taste like this, bro. I'm telling you, man. I, is this another tequila you got to hide from yourself? I'm running out of space <laughs> in the house to hide the tequilas. And luckily, we've had a, a very good selection for the ones that we filmed. But oh, man. this is going to probably have to be put away for a long time. I mean, wow. obviously, I want to drink it, but I think this is uh, this is occasion tequila. This is not, and please God, don't mix this with anything. No. Oh no. Oh my God. Anybody that drinks cognac, anybody that drinks single malt scotch can replace it with this, have a nice cigar and sit out by the fire and probably not even miss a beat. No, this is this is beautiful. And and uh, the other thing too is you I, I know that we've been talking as, as men, but I gotta tell you the nose is enchanting. That nose um uh, I, I would hesitate to say that male or female, whoever you are, you are going to love this. A, a female may want to, put, like you said, put a drop of water in it. But this nose, there's a lot happening on this tequila, man. If they want to open up a separate revenue stream, they can make this into a candle and sell it at Christmas time. Because <laughs> yeah. it's got that great kind of Christmas spice to it. So... Christmas in July. Happy National hey, Tequila. Hey, Happy National Tequila. Yeah, really. Oh, oh my God. Wow. So we know this brand is already a brand of promise award winner for their other iterations. Right. But, um, so for Añejo? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Um, oh, oh my God. I might go out on a limb and say that this is the best Añejo that I have ever tasted. The comp and, and I and I was I was brought up a Scotch drinker, so when you get a good quality of flavor that's got a little bit of spice and a little bit of toast to it and a little bit of that taste of the earth, and I love I love the Scotch just like the Ford that carried a lot of deep flavor, intense flavor. This is incredible. Now this is really delicious. 
here's here's the thing. When when Dimitri switched to the new distillery, this was the the prototype before they decided to actually on a, on a full label. They sent us they sent me one bottle from the same distillery, and when when he when when he sent you and me this this new version, he said, compare it because because we've made some improvements from from this version to that version to the one we just had. So just for kicks and giggles, all right, I, I'm gonna pour just a hair of the old stuff. I've been hoarding this because I love his his tequilas to begin with. Well, if he thinks that that was not the, uh, if that's the lesser of the two, then you can start drinking that. You don't have to hide it. I, that's what I'm saying. I can I can drink this, right? Am I You're lucky cool with that. I don't get to taste that, but I don't really want to. I don't want to mess. You with don't want to mess with it. No, no. Yeah, we're just gonna let this one stay. This is a beautiful nose. I mean, it's got a very similar nose, but it. You know what happened? I, I think what it what it was what it what it what they did was they pulled this one out, probably sooner than they wanted to, and they let the this version that 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 Jim and I just had s stay a little bit longer, you know, maybe two or three months more, right? Right. Because the nose is more subtle, and of course I'm drink, I'm drinking the, this out of out of a Glen Cairn or a, a Riedel. Okay, the character's not the same. There is there is a, a slight, and I think you there's more of a of a there's more of a of a hearty scotchiness to the new version versus the old version. I think. I think what happened was when they pulled this out of the barrel, they said, "You know what? Let's let's give it another two, three months." It didn't pick up the complexity they were looking for. Yeah, it it didn't have it, and I know I'm using the wrong kind of glassware. I mean, it, it's it's what I have here in this room, but from... it's not there. It's not there though. And and frankly, I, I can tell you, as complex as this is, a couple months means something. Yes. If, if that was just about the time that it was starting to pick up this flavor profile. And a couple more months put it to this. I'd wait. I would too. I, I think they did the right thing, and I think what happened was, you know, when they moved the distillery, and they did pick up the extra funding, they didn't rush it to market, you know. And and I've been on top of Dimitri and, and company and say, hey, is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? You know. And we go like weeks without without talking or communicating. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna hide this from myself. That's so. the one that you share with your with your buddies from Ireland. That's the one that that because they'd have a lot to say about this one, I think. Yeah, I I think this is the one that's gonna match up the best with what they're used to drinking whiskey wise over there. This has the complexity and the depth of flavor and the characteristics from the barrel that. Oh my goodness! Oh my I think goodness. anybody that drinks any kind of whiskey, bourbon. Irish whiskey, Scotch. This you can pick it up and, and, and go with it, and it's phenomenal. Um, we're, I don't know if you did any price point check-ins with this, but uh, I'd hesitate to say this is probably a fifty, sixty dollar bottle of Añejo, but I could be wrong. I would not be surprised uh, if that were the case, but and it, worth every penny. It's, worth that, it's certainly worth that money. What a nose! This nose is incredible. The, the dried fruit there, I, I'm telling you folks, and, and, and Jim will attest to this, there are extra Añejos that are not, they don't have a nose like this. And this is, this is the Añejo. I've never smelled tequila with this kind of, the aroma of it has that kind of depth of fruit and spice and complexity where you're smelling it and thinking, this... This has taken on some characteristics of every part of the production process that gives it a flavor and a smell that I've never had before, and it's just it's really impressive. Wow. The last time I smelled fruit like this in a glass prior to, to tasting G4, um, which some people may have already seen, uh, it may have already aired by the time they see this one, uh, was old school Chinaco. When when Herman Gonzalez was still was still making it at the family distillery, I remember one day somebody had given it to me uh, as a present. It was a, a, a Chinaco Añejo, which was beyond my in those days was beyond my pocketbook, and I opened it 
and I was doing something and went back to it and I could swear I smelled pears and and this was and 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 that was the only tequila I'd ever had where I had pulled out and I go that's that's pears how am I getting pears out of an añejo yeah this you were right this has got a peach apricot a dried dried apricot peach. dried no, peach sir. yes it, it's 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 roasty and it's sweet but it's not the roasty sweetness of agave no there's it's, agave there, but it's the roasty sweetness it, it's baked peaches yeah the the even the flavor notes that you can that you read here uh, for the on the website are picking out stuff that you know the uh, the toasted almond and black pepper it's there dried dill you know that's on the aroma side right dill yeah that's the kind of uh, just a touch of herbaceousness that I got at the end it really wasn't pronounced enough and I, I didn't want to say anything about it because it's like mm, maybe you're not picking dried dill does make sense though but Okay, you know what the, they're calling the this? On, the taste. Do you know what they're, what they're calling this on the taste, on the flavor? Uh, of course, they call it roasted. It's not roasted. It's baked, but everybody says roasted. Uh, mid palate range paraffin, prickly pear juice, toasted almond, and a slight trace of wood, resin, sap. And that is on the back end. That's why both you and me said cigar. Right. I think this this is beautiful. And I don't know if it's prickly pear or I, I would I would I would do what you did and say this is more of a of a dried dried pears, dried peaches. I think it's a dried fruit as opposed to a prickly pear. In my opinion. Well I gotta tell you I keep referencing this as like Christmas spice and a good Christmas time drink. Um my mother makes these wonderful apricot almond biscotti. Oh, I think if I have this, oh. I'm not dunking the coffee. I'm gonna dunk them oh. into the tequila and stuff like oh. that because that is exactly what we're talking about. It's that it's that almond like that roasted nut with, yeah. with fruit flavor. Yeah, yeah. That is what this reminds me of. It's got it's this is like my mother's biscotti in a glass, which is really cool for me. It's sweet with the toastiness and the baking spice and the fruit all combined so that the sweetness isn't killing you. It's all together there and it's just a nice it's a it's beautiful, a nice beautiful, balanced añejo. If you don't send me some of your mom's biscotti, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm they're gonna... coming. <laughs> they're, they're coming. She's already back ordered for Christmas, but <sighs> save enough of this that you can have some with it. But see, this is that's interesting that you would mention a dessert because I did not pick this as a dessert pairing tequila. You know, both he, both Jim and I said cigar, and and yeah, because it was robust enough. But if you stick with the with the sweet notes of this right. tequila, that's why I say I think I think male or female, you, you you know you wouldn't have to do a whole lot to be able to enjoy one half of the nuances, whereas your boyfriend you know or or, or significant other would enjoy the hardiness uh, of the wood and the agave and the and the. You know the, the 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 dill and all that the the brininess. They're calling it brine. I'm not getting any brine, but I I would I did get dill, and this is this is lovely, man. Incredible! Wow! Incredible. Hey, congratulations to us and to yeah. and to Dimitri. Happy and, National Tequila Day! Yeah, man. Happy National Tequila Day! Like, I should put up a tree. In fact, I, I tell you what, every National Tequila Day from now on, I'm going to put up uh, an agave piña in the corner of the room, and I'm going to put this under it. There you go. Uh, if you, fo is... you can follow Molly Nolly on Instagram, on Facebook. Uh, Dimitri uh, does some beautiful things artistically. Uh, and there is there he has a chandelier that's made with Molly Nolly bottles. So he's posted that on his Instagram. Take check it out. They're they're very cool people, very nice folks. They're actually based in Pennsylvania, um, which is right by me. I should go check them out. You should. Yeah, hey, well, you know, you've got some interviews coming for uh, for us. So, you know, what part of yeah. What's um, I'll have to I'll have to I'll text it to you or I'll send Let it to you. Let me know. They, yeah, I'll they go, are. I'll um, go check these people down. They're they're wonderful folks. Uh, the uh, Dimitri I, I binder a binder. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. 
and and company. Uh, Molly and Ali Tequila, Brand of Promise nominee in this Añejo category. This is their new iteration, new expression. You've got to find it. I'm sure you can get it online at uh, Old Town Tequila. I'm not sure what the price point is on that, but it's worth every penny. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Hey. It doesn't matter. Just, just go get it. Go get it. Get some cigars to go with it. That's our take on Molly and Ali Añejo. Hey, man. Thank you so much for being Thank this, you. this. I couldn't have shared it with a better guy. I'm telling you, Thank this you. was this was very it. I'm, cool. I'm happy with it. So. Hey, so again, subscribe down below to uh, whatever channels you're listening to us on all of our platforms. Uh, Mike Morales here in San Antonio. That young man out there is Jim Johnson in Youngstown, Ohio. You've been watching Sipping Off the Cuff. Let us know what you think of the new Añejo version. We told you what what we thought. But whatever you do, tomar sabiamente. Sit wisely.